so now <clears throat> i will show you carving of mandibular second premolar so here i have already carved the uh, distal tilt of the root and the crown uh, shape also i have defined with lingual tilt of the crown and occlusal surface also inclined plane has already been carved now in mandibular second premolar whenever you do this carving in exam or in regular practicals you need to carve three uh, carvings based on their occlusal pattern so there are h u and y pattern occlusal groove pattern so let us begin so buccal surface and occlusal surface the central groove is not more towards the uh, lingual cusp okay it is more or less towards the center in mandibular second premolar like this and uh, there are h u and y so u first we will carve u so u means uh, the buccal extension uh, supplementary grooves are prominent and central groove so if you join three it becomes u and uh, the lingual extensions are not so prominent so how to carve uh, this u shape so first we have to carve uh, buccal extension like this grooves buccal extension grooves so buccal cusp carve buccal cusp which is very easy like this so buccal cusp i have carved and now do not make this lingual extension so just move your carver along this step and and keep your cutting edge on the lingual side okay so this is how if you just remove the step so in a process of removing steps central groove marginal groove your occlusal surface will get converted into uh, u shape now if we polish if we polish automatically uh, your clear cut u shape pattern will be seen so we will define little more little more like this like this and central group so this is our u shape and define define so this is our u shape uh, pattern for second now if we extend send you know, grooves on the marginal groove on the lingual aspect also in on the lingual aspect also uh, then it becomes then it becomes h shape so you can make out you can make out this is like this uh, both the extensions are prominent on both the cusp arising from mesial bit and distal bit so if we polish it if we polish it the this is h shape this is nice h shape you can make out now last uh, shape is y shape y shape means uh, this is the upper arm of y and lingually there are two cusp and each uh, so we will divide this bulk into two halves and each half will have nice hut shape carving okay and there is both are divided by a groove so if we consider this u and vertical extension dividing these two cusp will become y shape so first uh, i will divide the lingually and then carve the inclined plane for this cusp and for this cusp also and this is how uh, two lingual cusp will be clearly seen this is how our three cusp pattern in y shape will be seen so and define the groove pattern and 
Polish it. Polish it. Polish it. You can see there are three patterns and uh, little bit uh, extension and each these tiny cusp will have cusp tip and cusp slope okay so define the cusp tips and cusp slope like this now you can make out buckle cusp and two lingual cusp and each half will have uh, cusp tips and cusp tips. Define the buckle ridge and buckle cusp. So you can make out the buckle cusp is also very prominent with detailed ridge and groove pattern polish it so this is my three cusp pattern by shape there is no mesiolingual groove in this carving which was presented first premolar